Okay, let's go. We'll start with checking your vision. All you need to do is read the word. Let's go. What's written here? It says vampire. Next one. Can you read it? Is meta. Another one for you. Look closely. Right. It says snowflake. Next one's up. Are your eyes sharp enough to read it? This is meadow. Another one for you. Look closely. Yeah, that's waterfall. Now I'll be showing you some pictures, and your task will be to find all the hidden objects in each of them. Here's the first one. You need to find the five objects you can see at the bottom of the screen. Okay, here's where they are. Did you manage to find all of them? One more for you. Concentrate, and keep in mind, you can pause the video if you need it. Great! One, two, three, four, and five. I hope you spotted them all. Emma Lynn is an archaeologist working in Africa. She has accidentally gotten stuck in a cave, and there are just three ways out. Her map shows that if she goes left, she'll come to a pond that pulls everything in. If she goes straight ahead, she'll run into dangerous dinosaurs that eat everything they see. If she goes right, she'll find herself very close to an erupting volcano. Which way is safe? The road leading ahead. Dinosaurs went extinct millions of years ago. It was Dana's birthday, and her best friends had prepared a gift for her. But first, the girl had to find it. They gave her a note with a hint. Do you know how Dana can read it? It looks as if the note doesn't make sense, but it does. The text is mirrored. That's why she can read it with the help of a mirror. Let's see. So it says, your present is in the laundry basket in the basement. Cheryl had to sneak into her dad's computer to delete some emails she had accidentally forwarded him. Her dad had memory problems, so luckily for Cheryl, he always left notes with his passcodes. And indeed, one of such notes was right on his desk. Cheryl typed in 6989. Unfortunately, this passcode was wrong. Can you figure out the correct one? The note was simply turned upside down. Cheryl should try 6869. Reese was on vacation in Cyprus. One day, he saw a beautiful woman and asked her out on a date. The woman said that she would go out with him, but only if he guessed her name. He said it was impossible, and she gave him a hint. The capital of Spain, the capital of Austria, the capital of Romania, and the capital of Australia. Can you help Reese figure out what the woman's name is? The capital refers to the capital letters of these countries' names. So, S, A, R, and A. The woman's name must be Sarah. Yvonne has four frogs, Dot, Hoppy, Yoda, and Aristotle. One of them is black and green, and three of them are black and blue. Find out which color each of them is if Dot and Hoppy are of the same color, Aristotle isn't black and green. If Dot and Hoppy are of the same color, then they must both be black and blue, since there's only one black and one green frog. If Aristotle isn't black and green, 
then it's black and blue too. So Yoda is black and green. Honor and Alea are identical twins. After they were born, Honor had her birthday 22 times. But Alea only had her birthday 5 times. How is it possible? They were born on a leap year. Honor was born late at night on February 28th, let's say at 11.59 p.m. And Alea was born a bit later, at 12.01 a.m. It was already February 29th, which only occurs once every four years. Now let's relax a bit and try to guess some movies. I'll show you some combinations of emojis, and your task is to guess the movie. Ready? Here's the first one. What's your guess? Of course, it's everyone's favorite, Edward Scissorhands. Okay, here's the next one. You must know it. It's The Devil Wears Prada. Can you guess this one? It's Million Dollar Baby. Moving on. You just can't get it wrong. Obviously, it's Home Alone. There's no other story like this one. Can you guess this movie? This reverse transformation reminds me of The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. I have a couple more for you. I love this movie. Do you know it? It's Interstellar. And how about this one? What's your guess? This one is I Am Legend. In the afternoon, Detective Callum went to a little restaurant for lunch. He was waiting for his order. He overheard a waiter and a client arguing. The waiter claimed that the woman had ordered a special breakfast set and was now refusing to pay. Hmm. The woman said she'd only ordered a coffee. Detective Callum knew who was lying. Do you? It's afternoon. No one serves breakfast specials at this time. So, the waiter was lying. Miss Vidges called the police and reported that someone had broken into her house, tied her up, and robbed her. When police officers arrived, the house was a mess and the woman was indeed tied to a chair. Still, the officers didn't believe that it was a real robbery. Why? If Miss Vidges was tied up and couldn't move, how did she manage to call the police? Her cell phone is too far away from her. Hmm. An elderly man had poor vision. He lived with his son, Mark, because he needed assistance. One day, the man was resting in his armchair while his son was preparing dinner. Suddenly, Mark heard glass shatter. He ran into the room and asked what had happened. The window was broken. His father told him that some dark-eyed, dark-haired young guy had thrown a stone into the window and then had run away. Mark didn't believe his father. Why? The man had poor vision. He couldn't see the boy and, of course, he couldn't figure out the color of his hair and eyes. Miss Nebula Hayes left for vacation. While she was away, her home office got robbed. All the people whose fingerprints had been found in the office were interrogated. Celeste, Nebula's cousin, said that she'd been to the house just once because Miss Hayes needed her to send her a document from her office. Alyssa, the gardener, said that she'd been coming every third day to take care of the garden and plants. Cash, the cleaner, said that he'd come every Wednesday to clean the house. Who robbed the office? It was the gardener. Celeste and Cash had some reason to be in the office. 
so their fingerprints aren't that suspicious. But why would Alyssa come there? As you see, there are no plants in the office. In a VIP club, a rich lady was robbed. Someone stole her diamond necklace. The police visited three main suspects and interrogated them. Paxton said that he'd been at the party. He even knew what necklace they were talking about, but he had nothing to do with the theft. Reagan said that she hadn't noticed any necklaces. Gaia said that she hadn't been to that party. She was too poor to afford to go to such clubs. Who's the criminal? It must be Gaia. She said that she was poor, but look at her huge house and her fancy car. How can she afford all this if she's poor? Let's take a little break and check how attentive you are. Look, here's a ball and three cups. I'll put the ball here in this cup in the middle. Your task is to watch the cups and then tell me where the ball is. Ready? Go! So where is the ball? Look, it's here. Did you get it? Okay, let's try this one. Now I have four cups and I'll be moving faster. I put the ball right here. Watch it closely. So where do you think it is? It's in this cup. Let's make it super hard and see if you can get it now. Five cups and I'll move them even faster than before. Ready? So where's the ball? It's right here. Chloe opened her locker and found an envelope. Inside there was a calendar and a note asking if she wanted to go to the prom. The note wasn't signed. There were just several numbers at the bottom. 25, 30, 24, 11, 26. Can you help the girl figure out who asked her out? The calendar is the key. You have to find all the numbers in the calendar and the first letters of the respective months will make up the name. So, 25 is circled in June. So it's a J. Number 30 is circled in April. So it's an A. 24 is in September. It's an S. 11 is in October, so we've got an O. And 26 is in November, N. The guy's name must be Jason. Hopefully Chloe knows him. Annika was poisoned, and Detective Callum was on the case. Hmm. One of the main suspects was Marcus Jones, Annika's sister's boyfriend, because someone had seen them together. Hmm. Good afternoon, Mr. Jones. I'm sorry to tell you this, but your girlfriend's sister was poisoned. Do you know anything about it? By the way, do you have any photos of her? Marcus said, Oh, poor Annika. She's such a good girl. Yes, I have pictures of my girlfriend and her sisters. Here it is. The detective looked at the photo and arrested Marcus. Why? In the picture, there are four girls. This means that Marcus's girlfriend has three sisters. Still, Marcus somehow knows exactly which one of them was poisoned. 